This should be fun, huh? Yeah. 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 What was that? Yeah. What? Predator! What's going on, YouTube? Dorito here. And the Leech Copper over here. And today we got ourselves the Town Motors Baja Sprinter 200 buggy. And I'm not ashamed to say that this is my favorite of them all. He really does like this buggy. But. But we have one issue with it. One. It's covered. Covered. So he Most gets going. Most and he's in the race for a second. Until the straightaway and the governor hits in. And no, you don't. Know, er. Yep. So not that we're going to make a ringer or anything for the races. But we got to get Looch in his little Looch cart. Can I turn it now? Yeah, he can. Can I turn it now? We got ourselves a Predator Ghost in. Ghost, people. Yep. We're not going to mess around with this whole thing. See? Yep. We're going to twist an axle. Yep. We're, we're going to go ahead and pull that engine out. We're going to put it in the Predator Ghost. And we'll see if it all mounts up. It looks like everything's going to be perfect. There's not going to be any issues. And once the contents of this box enters the contents of this buggy, there is no way they will ever be me. <laughs> Only by appointment. Yep. So let's get on with it. Shall we? Okay, so now that we got the engine and stuff, we're going to go ahead and get that out of here. And what Luch and I are going to do off camera Real is simple stuff. we're going to remove the back rack, which is simple. Where the back rack has to come off and this bar here on the side. And the rest of the contents can be lifted straight out. That is correct. So we'll get right back to you guys when we get that all situated and ready to go. Stay with us for more. Whoop. All right, guys, we're back. And Boy, are we back. Yeah, and Looch got everything disconnected. We made sure the throttle cable, we had to get a, a different throttle cable for it. We made sure that length was okay. It's a little <laughs> long, but we'll make it work. Um, and the reason being is because the carburetor is different than the mini bike carburetor. you got to have that ball on the end. Got to have the balls. Yep. Got to have the balls for this carburetor. Yep. So, anyways, we got that situated. And we disconnected, you know, the electrical piece in the back, the uh, air box here, and, and got rid of all the... Uh, Emissions, can I say that? You State did. of California, you didn't hear us. But the trick is, is this uh, front bolt up here. Uh, it it kind of is in an awkward spot. But if you kind of finagle your way around uh, and blast it from the bottom, you can get it out. The trick is going to be getting it in. Yeah. Now, that, that's the thing. It's just four bolts to bolt this engine. All four of them are real easy. One's just a little tight because we're not pulling the gearbox itself. This has forward and reverse in it. So we're just going to leave that intact and lift the engine out. And that's what Luch is going to do right now. Oh, no, I guess I'm going to do that, right? I, I stopped lifting heavy things. It's in my contract. So get out of the way. All right. Okay. So very easy. Very easy. See? Easy peasy. That's all there. You got his best angle there, too. Yep. And now, that's all there is to it, people. Yep. And it lifts right out. What we got here. This is the fun part. Yes. This is the fun <laughs> part. <laughs> Let's take this it This guy, though, right? Take it all out. Take this out. Look, if you ever need to change your spark of a plug, you got a spark of a plug wrench here. Yep. Socket. I guess that would be. And it's a pretty red color. There we go. The Predator Racing Eater. Hey, we'll put this over here. I didn't buy the header and all those all those other parts that they have because we're not going to use them. We got a little header. We're going to use this one. Gonna go right <laughs> uh, we're going to put that <laughs> Oh, that's Chinese on my lips. What we're going to try is we're going to try transferring the gas tank and stuff like that and running the fuel lines and, and see what we can get out of it there. The gas tank. So That goes right here, people. Yep. Right there. Yep. Right there. <laughs> and then the, the exhaust, people. Yeah. It goes right here. It's like, hey, it looks like it's going to fit, too. Yes, it will fit. Wow. Yeah. And we got it with a little muffler without the... With, uh, so it does with the spark arrestor stuff in there. So we won't get arrested for not spark arresting the spark. Yes. <laughs> and we'll probably have to cut this tab here for the oil fill because the tank's going to be on top of there anyways. But we'll see where this goes. I bet so. it's going to go straight real fast. Real fast. All right. So we're going to transfer some stuff over. And before we get ready to drop the engine in, we'll get back. Luch is going to transfer some stuff over. I'm going to give this a good wipe down so it's nice and clean and pretty when we drop the engine in there. Yeah. And we'll get right back to you guys. Okay. Stick over more. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. And now Luch went ahead and he changed out everything on the motor. Tell him what you did, Luch. I changed out everything on the motor. <laughs> Tell him what no. you did. Okay, well, what we had to do, we had to uh, modify the tank a little bit to get the tank on the new engine, but it did go down. And uh, you will have to actually cut off the little uh, uh, top part of your oil fill on this one yep. uh, to make it fit. And then we had to just kind of... Show them how you modified it. Show them what tool you used. Can you believe this is the crap we got? Yep, this is what we used. With the original barbed wire from the 1860s. Yeah. Donate now if you wouldn't like to knock his head off. Good. Okay, uh, we changed the uh, wiring harness here in the back and put it to uh, the same plug as it will just plug in. The kill switch. It may work, it may not, we don't know. Yeah. We'll have to tinker with it. Over here, we uh, did have to uh, clock our pull start because it was uh, way over here in the back and uh, we just couldn't get there with the seat. Yeah, so we, you had to move it from pulling to the back. Okay. And uh, finally, what we did was we put on this nifty trick exhaust. <laughs> we had a dinky exhaust. This, this, it will make the build, people. Yeah, it's an Amazon exhaust. It's a temporary one. We're going to get a better exhaust. I just wanted to make sure we got something that fit underneath. If you want to modify this exhaust to actually go faster. <laughs> and louder. And louder. It's a long ways. Oh, wow. I didn't think it was this much. Yeah. <laughs> Screw, Screw it. it. <laughs> Screw it all the way it, it won't get faster and louder. Screw it out if you want to do that. But um, also, too, we took and we needed longer fuel lines, so we put in longer fuel lines. Neon green, people. We're hoping this works without a pump. It should. Um, now, what we're going to get ready and do is I'm going to get ready and set this engine in, and Luch is going to go ahead and start on some bolts, and we'll see where we're at. Boy, am I. Yep. Now, remember, too, we got to switch out the throttle cable. Did you want to do that right now? Was oh, that would be easier, easier, huh? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch this throttle cable out. We'll get right back to you guys, okay? All righty. Okay. Now, we got the throttle cable ran. And so we're going to go ahead and drop the engine in. And so bolt, so Luch can go ahead and get it bolted up. And then after that, we'll put the torque converter and everything on. Sounds good, huh? Yep. Don't forget to connect your engine, too. Your, to connect my engine? To connect your stuff. You got your little chain of magnetic tray. One started there. Let's start this one in the back over there. For now, we'll leave those there. I don't know what to do. Okay. Everything just fits right in. It's amazing. With a little uh, shoehorn. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of Vaseline. Now this is where it's going to get tough. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get these, these bolts in, and then we're going to get this throttle connected, and we'll get right back to you guys, okay? Okay, oh, guys. Something. We are back. Took a little bit of manipulation of a bolt, but we got it in. It's in now. Everything's connected. We got the switch hooked up. Let's see if we can get it started. All right. Is the switch on? Okay. Okay. So we are getting fuel to the carburetor because we we filled it up already and there is gas there. So let's give it a pull. Boy, look at that! take it out for a drive yeah buddy. i'm not going to put the back rack on right this minute or the bar we want to make sure this thing is running right i'll do that in a few minutes maybe when we're doing our live stream so anyways we're going to let him take it out let's go right check out. it out hey, race car just start take one See if we can get it to bust by this way. I 
Everything's pretty quick. I think this was a success. What do you think, Luch? This card is now faster than it should be legally allowed. Yeah, it is pretty quick. Um, we might do some gearing changing down the road, maybe on the on the main sprocket. We will. To give him a, give you a little bit more top end, maybe. I don't know. But maybe we'll. He talks a lot. Maybe we'll accomplish that with tires. But I can tell you this much: from looking at it, it looks like it's going to keep up with the carts. With the other ones. Watch out, George Voodoo! Yeah. I'm coming after you. Oh, oh, oh. Slap it in a Luch sticker right here. So that's what they see. That's all they're gonna see as I go blinding by. I, I think this is gonna do pretty good in all actuality. What do you think? Should be fun. Yep. So anyways, I wanna thank you guys for watching. This was a blast. We'll be doing some more with this and you guys keep watching for the races. Just keep watching. Don't forget to come back to Luch Mom Garage. Right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Told you a thousand times, don't drink milk out of a carton candy.